The high pressure world of competitive bass fishing is a discipline committed to excellence. Time, combined with the blood, sweat, and tears of experience, is the only road to success. And it's a journey traveled by many, but finished by very few. Kevin Van Dam, considered to be among the very best to ever play the game, was no exception. And at an early age, he was already well on his way. As I was growing up, you know, I, I would read magazines and things, and I read about most of these guys here. I said, boy, I gotta just go and see what, you know, if I can compete with these guys. And I just, I took that chance one time, and I got the, the pants whooped off me the first tournament I ever fished. And, but I, I thought, maybe I do have a chance with these guys, so I decided to do it again. So I was persistent, and ever since that time, I, you know, at least finished the money in every tournament. I remember when Kevin started, the first time I saw him was at St. Lawrence River. And this was in the 80s. He drew out with a, with a veteran angler, and that guy said at the end of the day, he said, man, that kid's going to be something. I mean, he said, I've never seen a, a, a kid that aggressive on the water. I can remember when Kevin came to Zebco, and a guy named Dallas Hodges said, there's a new kid coming. I think he's pretty good. You think we ought to sponsor him? And I said, yeah, he's good. In 1990, at the age of 22, Kevin started down the path of competitive bass fishing full time. It was a journey that would span the next 34 years and witness the transformation of bass fishing into a worldwide phenomenon. And Kevin Van Dam into KVD, the winningest bass fisherman of all time. Kevin works as hard as anybody ever has in this sport. Opened a lot of doors for a lot of people, one that uh, changed the sport forever. He brought a new way of fishing. He was had this speed, moving fast, covering water, and that was like, broke out of the shell of the old school mentality into what it is now. A true professional bass angler and somebody that uh, everybody can take a lesson from. When I actually got the chance to meet him and get to know him, it's pretty cool because he is everything that he's cracked up to be, you know, and more. You've won everything, you've done everything, and you've set so many examples, and, and you've, you've been my idol since, shoot, since I picked up a fishing rod. I ain't gonna have to compete against you, and part of me's sad, and part of me knows that's probably gonna help my bank account. Your name's all over everything. Finally, the rest of us get to endorse some product, maybe if you retire, I don't know. None of us really like change, and to see Kevin retire, that really marked the beginning of change. you always been there no matter what for the sport, what you've done for the sport and so many of us. Thank you. There's going to be a long time before there's anybody that can rival what Kevin's done in this sport. Me as a young angler, he sets the bar that we all strive for of, of what it means to be the greatest of all time. Someday he might make it in life. Eight Angler of the Year awards, four Bassmaster Classics, 122 top 10 finishes, 29 wins, and more than $7 million in career winnings. These accomplishments are the result of a lifetime commitment to the sport we all love. An experience bought with sacrifice that became a career, and a career that has eclipsed all that have gone before, and set a high bar indeed for all those that follow. It's uh, been a lot of fun.